Wilson Morales, Black Feminine TV. Hello, folks. How are you? What's up, Wilson? Hi, I'm hey, I'm going to start off for you, Melvin. Have you been to Australia before? And what was it like being in there on this oasis with this cast and playing the role that you have? <laughs> right, this is my first time going to Australia, so it was definitely uh, an experience. It was great. Everything in Australia looks like a postcard. Uh, and the people are really nice. It's um, It was a great experience, especially with the cast. Um, the cast were all amazing people um, on and off camera. So it was a great experience. <laughs> and Samara, you know, had you read the book before you take on a project? And what did you think of your character? And did you add to it based on that's different from the book in a way? Uh, yeah, I mean, I read the book um, once I got the role and loved it and then um spoke to jonathan the director and um he said the character was going to be a little bit different from the book but it was great to have um you know sort of uh initial reaction to who she was from the book and a little bit more insight into her um yeah it was it was it was really fun it was really interesting. <laughs> Now your characters, now did you have to play the part in terms of obviously you look in great in shape, both of you do. I don't know, I haven't read the book, so I don't know. Are these characters supposed to be the way you guys are? Like having, you know, being in shape and knowing that you, you guys are, you know, especially with the with the drills that you had to do as characters, you know, and as you opposed know, to what everybody else looked like. <laughs> I mean, I went through quite a transformation. I was in hair and makeup for like three hours every day. <laughs> um, I don't know. Physically, <laughs> Melvin just looked cool. <laughs> you know, the show was shot obviously during COVID, and you know, you're shooting in Australia, and you know, it's like the oasis for everybody going out there during production for a lot of shows to keep it going. You know, what was it like? You know, uh, having to to complete this. Um, were you, at, at any given time, were you worry about traveling? And once you got there, were you all good to go as it is? Melvin? <laughs> um, initially, I was worried. I just had a son. So I wanted to make sure that he would be able to come to Australia along with uh, my fiance. So that was a, the only, only really pressure um, that I had. And then once we got there, we quarantined. Um, after quarantine, it was like, you know, back to the regular world. Um, Australia, Byron Bay, um, to be specific, was they had no COVID cases, so you could walk around, go to restaurants, just hang out. Um, yeah, bubble. Mm -hmm. And what about you know you, Samara? You know, was it easier? Just you know, I don't know your background, so I don't know if you're from there, if you've been there. If, you know, was it comfortable yeah. just traveling around? <laughs> Yeah, I am from Australia, so it was really wonderful. Um, I could go back and see my family and my friends and make new friends. And it was really surreal coming from the States where, um, you know, I was sort of quarantining and not going outside and then being able to, you know, yeah, go to restaurants. And it was really um, strange and wonderful that there was no cases, so everything was kind of normal. It was very surreal. You know, now before I let you guys, you know, you have a host of comedians on there, but they're not playing comedic roles. So there, at any given time when you're offset, was there any time where you guys just got around and tell jokes and so forth? Melvin? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all the time. It was just, you know, it was, it was full of laughter and uh, everybody was great. It was, <laughs> it was a thing within the, age group where it was jokes where I didn't get the references because there were a lot of comedians that were a lot older than I don't want to say a lot. They were older than me. So I wasn't close enough um, to get a lot of the references. And then a lot of times I would tell jokes where they didn't get the references. So but um nah it was it was a great experience overall. And that became a joke within itself. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, and then I thought of that because my joke went over or under everything. So, yeah. Um yeah. It was a great meeting of the minds. Good talk to you guys. Obviously, the people will get a treat watching this series. Wherever you're at, stay safe. <laughs> Thank you. You too. <laughs>